Our students live in an ever-changing world where past practices of simply learning material and content are no longer enough to prepare them for becoming productive and successful members of their communities. They live in a world where their ability to communicate what they know and collaborate with others on tasks and projects is as important as their ability to be critical thinkers and problem solvers, all while being efficient users of current technology. They need to be able to innovate and be creative to help find solutions to problems that affect not only themselves, but the global community as well. Throughout all of this, they need to be able to identify their own personal goals and create a plan for how to achieve them. They include critical thinking and problem solving, innovation, creativity, and entrepreneurship, learning to learn, self-aware and self-directed learning, collaboration, communication, and global citizenship. It is important to distinguish the difference between a skill and a competency. A skill is a specific learned ability that is used in certain situations. A competency is the ability to analyze a situation in order to determine which skills to use to achieve a desired outcome. In addition to knowledge and skills, it also includes the person's character, attitudes, and behaviors that will lead them to success. Educators everywhere are faced with the daunting task of guiding their students' development of these competencies with the added challenge of ensuring they are engaged in their learning each day. More and more schools are creating maker spaces, which can help to increase student engagement in their learning and develop these competencies. Two of the theories behind this movement include constructivism and constructionism both of which are based on how children learn. Constructivism is a theory in education that is linked to Jean Piaget's theory of cognitive development. It promotes the belief that children construct knowledge and an understanding of the world around them by using their prior knowledge and building on it with each new experience. It is often associated with teaching practices that include students using a hands-on approach, active exploration and discovery, listening, observing, and doing. Constructionism is another theory that aligns with constructivism in education. While similar in their impact on education practices, Constructionism is a theory about learning and education that was pioneered by Seymour Patrick. It proposes that students learn about the world around them through observation, exploration, and discovery, guided and facilitated by an educator who often incorporates inquiry and project-based learning opportunities. It emphasizes the importance of students making meaning from their experiences and discoveries and not just the direct teaching of concepts and knowledge.